Hi, I'm Sav, the Technical Manager at Smart and Secure. Today we're going to be doing a short tutorial video on how to program your Acara E1 Hub with your Acara app on your iOS device. So to get started, you're going to need your Acara E1 Hub, which will require being powered by a USB outlet that you may have available in the house. If not, not to worry, you can use the 5 volt uh, power adapters. Uh, you'll also need to use an iOS device that can either be an iPhone or an iPad which will run the Acara app. So now that you're ready, it's time to plug in your Acara E1 hub for the first time. Now for demo purposes, we're using a 5 volt power supply. So the first thing we need to check is that the LED has illuminated on the device. If it hasn't, then use another USB port or just check that the current USB port you're using is operating correctly. After a few seconds, the LED should begin to flash. Now, that may take up to about 10 seconds to begin. If it doesn't begin to flash, just hold down the button on the device for a few seconds and release it. It should start to flash after that. So now we're ready for step two. It's time to head over to the Apple App Store and download the Acara Home app. This will be listed as Acara Home. Once you've downloaded that, just click open. Now, if you haven't already signed up to the Acara app, you're going to need to do so. So if you click sign up, type in your email address, click I have read the terms and conditions, and then get verification code. This will then send you a special verification code in which we need to finish the registration process. For demo purposes, I've already got an account set up, so I'm just gonna log in as my existing account. So now it will bring you up onto the home board. The home board is where you will see all your registered devices. On this, we have no devices already put in, so we're going to start by adding the E1 hub. So what we will do is press the plus button, add accessory, and then select the hub we're going to be programming, which is the hub E1. Once you've done that, you need to make sure the yellow light is blinking, so tick the box. But on mine, the E1 hub has stopped blinking, so we're going to press the button for a few seconds, and then that should begin to flash. Confirm the yellow light is blinking, click next step, and we now want to add it into our home kit home. And then we click next again, and now we need to scan the code on the back of the, de of the device, which is here. And now it's gonna ask us to add it to the Apple Home. Now just wait a short while while it says connecting to bridge. And now you'll be adding it into some of the suggested rooms. If there isn't a room available, you can click create new room. But for this I'm just going to put in any room and the device, call it Acara Hub E1. And it is a security system. And that is now added to our home kit. And now you can see it says binding device. We're now going to need to wait for it to bind with the hub, which in this case is done quite quickly. We're also going to be adding that into a room. And then we're going to click next again. Now I would advise renaming the device as the E1 Hub so you know exactly which one it is. And you can also change the icon. And then you will add the card to the home page board. This is so that the actual device appears on the home screen. Now the first thing we need to do, which is the most important bit, is update the firmware on the device. If you don't do this, you may find yourself having problems programming at a later date, but if you do this first, then you won't come across any of these issues. So now while we wait for it to search for a new firmware, um, it's now begin, beginning to download that firmware. So the time it takes to download the firmware can depend on your download speed at home. So now it's checking for another update. I would always advise just clicking the check for update again, just to make sure there's no further updates to do. In this case, we're all up to date, so now we can just press back and then we can also look at the hub in a bit more detail now. So we've got more settings, and on here we've got some features. We've got prevent, preventing accidental deletion settings, which we don't really need to mess with at the moment. Device offline notification, so if, if the device goes offline for any reason, you can turn that on. And we also can have the E1 hub act as a Wi-Fi repeater. So if you've got any dead spots in your home, then you may want to place the E1 hub in that area which will then increase your connectivity. Uh, we also have identify the device, so that's when adding new devices into it. And we also can turn off the little flashing indicator. Um, in, in this case, I would probably advise leaving it on so you always know it's working correctly. 
Okay, so now that we've downloaded that, we're going back to the home board and we're ready to now program new items into it. Just bear in mind if your device does not show, it's always advisable just to scroll down to do a refresh and it will show here and you'll be able to access that device by clicking on it. So now you're ready to start programming new Acara devices in with your Acara E1 Hub. If you'd like to know more about what Acara have to offer, please click the link in the description. Don't forget to like the video and follow us on our socials to stay up to date.